Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Today I have another financial video for you today. I was about to say money minute, but I don't know if I want to call these videos that. Um so yeah, today I was going to talk to you guys about how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so yeah. So the first tip for you all or anybody who wants to stop living paycheck to paycheck is to believe that you can do it. Um, just simply believe that you there's something better for you. This is not it. You know, life can be better and not just settling for day to day life. So that's my first tip to stop living paycheck to paycheck and so the next tip that i want to give anybody who needs this is to get on a budget i used to think that a budget was a bad thing and i never wanted to be on a budget but a budget is actually your freedom it's the keys to your freedom so once you get on a budget, you know how much money you have coming in. You know how much money you need need um, to run your home and, you know, keep your life at a minimum standard that you are comfortable with. It's freeing. So without being on the budget, you run the risk of spending more money than you have. And that's what makes you feel like you don't have enough money or you're living essentially paycheck to paycheck. I want to say a lot of us out there, you know, I know that there's a lot of circumstances that people are finding it hard to pay um, mortgage or whatever, rent. Um, putting food on the table and are strapped to do those minimal things i was there too like our family was there um but then there are some people who have discretionary income and actually go out and buy you know wants that they don't necessarily need so we're going to go back to elementary school, third grade, when the teacher would tell us, you know, what's a want? A want is an ice cream cone. A want is a pair of sneakers. A want is some makeup. You know, a want is, let's say McDonald's, because we, we don't really need that. We can eat at home. Um, So those are wants. And needs are, we need a roof over our head. We need groceries from the grocery store. We need gas for our vehicles. We need transportation, although it doesn't have to be, you know, the best. Um, especially if you are savvy with fixing cars. I'm not. So <laughs> um, I understand that part, too. Um, but, yeah. So just kind of get yourself on a budget. Know what your needs are. Try to eliminate some of your wants just for a season this is not forever you're just trying to get control the ma the name of the game is to get control of your finances and like i said this is not forever it's only for a season that's the way um that's the way i thought about it and it helped me i hope it helps you uh, i'm gonna go ahead to the next tip okay so my next tip is to create a plan you need a plan set some goals for yourself um it helps stay on track for actually following through and keeping on task every month see when you want to be out of debt or when you want to you know have some some freedom back in your life i think being out of debt is what gives you the freedom and so i mean while some people may be happy with, you know, keeping a little bit of debt and having extra wiggle room in their budgets, that's fine. Everybody's got a different life and what's going to be bringing them joy. For me, I like I like peace. So I don't want to have, you know, that anything hanging over my head. So even though we are not 
technically check to check anymore. I still have a need to push through and clean up this last little bit. It's not even a little bit. It's a lot of bit <laughs> of debt that we have. So yeah, just definitely get up, get yourself on a plan and see when you like to accomplish this goal. Um, actually, you know, I feel like being able to get yourself on the budget is going to help you so much with the living paycheck to paycheck. Um, you'll have an emergency fund saved up um, because once you get on a budget, you'll see how much money you have and then you should be saving an emergency fund. An emergency fund is important so you don't have to start using your credit cards again and get yourself more in a more worse problem. So that's another tip. Okay, so my next tip is you can try to lower your debt to income ratio. If you live in an apartment, maybe you can find a apartment that's a little bit less expensive. Or if you live in a home, you might wanna sell your home. Um, that's extreme to me because yeah, to pay off debt, to sell your home, especially if you love the home, it's pretty extreme but those are some things that you can think about now actually just moving apartments now that's probably a little bit of an easier pill to swallow um so yeah if you can move apartments or find a cheaper rent definitely look into that to try to get more of your money back in your pocket so you can get some momentum going okay so another little tip that you can use is try to do a balance transfer or you can call your credit card companies and see if they will lower your interest rates that would help you to pay off more money faster if you have a lower interest rate they may not be willing to do too much of that now because they kind of got us where they want us at this moment but some credit cards may still have an introductory rate for a period of time, say like six months or 12 months, which could give you time to, you know, actually pay those cards off without having to pay that interest. So definitely look into that if you need to. Okay. So my next tip is if you have consumer debt, like credit card debt, you guys, credit card debt was actually taking like a thousand dollars you know in, in minimum payments for my household so that's why i'm so adamant about never going into credit card debt again because those minimum payments are something like seriously and so when you pay those off and you get like that much money back into your pocket it is game changer you know it changes the game um so what I was going to say was, if you have credit card debt, try to pay those debts off. We use a method that we didn't, well, I didn't even know about, but it's called a snowball method where you use the lowest, um, the lowest balance card and you just pay that off and then you just take your next, you know, your page, your amount that you were paying on that card that you paid off and put it onto the next card. Um, we did something similar to that, although we never stopped paying extra on like all of our cards. Now we weren't paying that much extra, but we paid a little something extra on all of our cards, but we paid a lot extra. I don't even want to say a lot because, you know, a hundred to two hundred dollars extra then sometimes three and four, you know, it gets bigger and bigger as you pay them off. But, you know, that's what I mean. Like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a, a money expert. I'm just here trying to give a little bit of advice, some real person advice on how to get control. So that's how I pay off the credit card debts. And like I said, once we were able to get out of that debt, it was like no stopping us because that was like a whole extra thousand dollars that we had that was going in somebody else's pocket every month so <laughs> you know so yeah and i just kind of and i just kind of told you my last tip and that's just stop using your credit cards 
please <laughs> because the more you use them the more you are going to have to pay back and the more interest you're going to have to pay back especially if you do not clean them up or pay them off every month now i me and my husband both we have a joint credit card that we use for all of our expenses during the month and we pay that off monthly whenever actually we pay a couple times a month it depends but um we use that because we do get some rewards from the credit card so we kind of like reverse the way the you know reverse use the credit cards where the credit cards are actually giving us money because we do pay them off before the interest is due i hope that makes sense um we actually um yeah just earned like 200 dollars from our car just from january just from like buying groceries and you know just things that we needed to buy anyway paying our bills and stuff like that so it's a small amount it's like two percent but that little bit it adds up when you are you know living day-to-day -day life so those are my tips i hope that this has helped somebody like i said i'm not an expert i'm just a regular girl here sitting here telling you how I stopped living paycheck to paycheck and yeah hopefully you guys take some some of this advice for your own lives especially if you are living paycheck to paycheck I know it is hard especially when you feel like it's hopeless but I feel like the biggest thing is to just change your mindset once you change your mind you can change your life so yeah, that's all I got to say today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would love to have you around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.